I gather from all this that you're willing to say now that while you were director, the President of the United States w was not under investigation. Is that a fair statement? That's correct. All right. So that's a fact that we can rely on at this Yes, point. sir. Okay. On, uh, I remember uh, you, you talked with us shortly after February 14th when the New York Times wrote an article that suggested that the uh, Trump campaign was colluding with the Russians. You remember reading that article when it first came out? I do. It was about... Uh Allegedly extensive electronic surveillance. Correct. Communications. Yes, and sir. and uh, that upset you to the point where you actually went out and surveyed the intelligence community to see whether whether you were missing something in that. Is that correct? That's correct. I want to be careful in open setting. I, I'm, but I, I'm not going to go any further than that. Okay. With it, so thank you. Um, in addition to that, after that, you sought out both Republican and Democrat senators uh, to tell them that, hey, I don't know where this is coming from. But this is not the case. The, the, this is not factual. Uh, do you recall that? Yes. Okay. So, so again, so the American people can understand this, that report by the New York Times was not true. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, in the main, it was not true. We, and again, all of you know this, maybe the American people don't. Uh, the challenge, and I'm not picking on reporters, about writing stories about classified information is the people talking about it often don't really know what's going on, and those of us who actually know what's going on are not talking about it. And we don't call the press to say, hey, you got that thing wrong about this sensitive topic. We just have to leave it there. I mentioned to the chairman the nonsense around what influenced me to make the July 5th statement. Nonsense, but I can't go explaining how it's nonsense.